Good morning. So good morning, everybody. If you're new here, welcome to my live video. Um, if you're new here, my name is Barbie, and I help um, boss ladies become their own boss through their own beauty or fashion business. Good morning. How's it going? Let me know in the comment section where you're from and what time it is in your time zone. So right now is 9.36 a.m. in my time zone. And I'm actually recording... I got my iPad, okay? <laughs> so if y'all are familiar with Gar GarageBand on, I on iPad or, I or iPhones, whatever, I'm recording my podcast and today I'm gonna do a li live, okay? So I feel like um, maybe y'all can um, join with me while I record my podcast, okay? I have a lot to talk about and I've been kind of quiet. Oops. <laughs> I'm just, oh, what the hell? Oh, hell no, what the heck is that? <laughs> that was a cool effect. That is so cool. Okay, so stay with me, what y'all doing today? Do you, um, you at work? Good morning. So let me know in the comment section if you're trying to become your own boss and if you're at work right now and you're working on having your own business and whatnot because that's what I'm here to help you out okay and we're gonna start on this uh, <laughs> we're gonna start on this recording so right now the Sun is not out and I have my ring light on okay thank you so much thank you ladies I love you guys I must sit on a pillow cuz I'm short <laughs> okay all right, so I'm recording my podcast. Y'all can just tune in and listen in. I have a lot to talk about, okay? So a lot of people want to become their own boss, but they, they're not, <laughs> they don't know the secrets. And I'm here to show y'all and share with you a lot of things, okay? So let's go ahead and record. Wait, why is that on? <laughs> okay, so let me just do this because we're about to record. And if you're new here, I have a I have a YouTube channel, so link in my bio. I'm about to upload on my YouTube channel, and I feel like my heart really is calling out to um, release my podcast. And the podcast is all about self development. And the reason why I want to start a podcast about self development is because a lot of people think that you know, a lot of people think it's all about just strategies and what to do. And you know how to run Facebook ads or how to post on your cut on your social media and it don't matter how many things I t teach you how to do or what to do about your business or how to take pictures and how to take videos if you are not if you're not working on yourself then you're not really gonna elevate okay this is very important okay I don't care um, how much YouTube videos you watch, how much courses you take, how much, you know, things that you do. If you don't work on yourself, okay? So, and this is an inspiration from the people that I've talked to, um, the people that, like, ask for my help and stuff like that. Like, you know, I've been kind of, like, ghost for, like, uh, almost a week. <laughs> I haven't po been posting because I feel like I had to, like, really, like, take time to myself. So, this is very important to take time to yourself. Um, so before I get distracted, let me go ahead and record, hit record, and we're going to start. What's good, everybody? It's your girl, The Realest Barbie D, and we are recording live on Instagram and on YouTube. So this is my second episode on my podcast, okay? So as you can tell, <laughs> I don't got no expensive microphone with me. It's just my iPad, <laughs> okay? So... Uh, I've been wanting to talk about, um, I've been wanting to release my podcast, create my podcast, and I thought like I had to, I thought I have to have like these expensive equipment, you know, microphone, ex expensive, fancy uh, equipment to do a, um, a podcast, but I'm here to show y'all real live <laughs> on Instagram and on YouTube that you don't need 
like perfect things to get started on your business or whatever it is that you want to do like if you have a passion about something if you feel like you want to start a youtube channel if you feel like you want to start a lash business a hair business i don't give a shit about what kind of business you want to start if you feel like you want to become your own boss right you just got to do it with what you have and work with what you have okay and make it better as you go like nothing is always perfect that's the problem people always think that everything has to be perfect before they get started now the title of this episode is the secrets to becoming your own boss and when i say your own boss hi uncensored goddess 888 joined <laughs> i love that so i've been seeing 777-888 every single day and if you don't know about synchronicities and angel numbers i'm here here to talk about that you know that's gonna be a separate episode on its own but if you're seeing synchronicities like 444-333-777-888 you know you're on the right path that means your angels and the universe is telling you that you're on the right path and you are in a great awakening hi good morning okay so if you're new here um i want to just share with you all a little bit about me so i started my own lash business from scratch i didn't have no friends or family to like support me and stuff so you know i've always been like the type of person to be like private like have a private life right i never like posted like what's going on in my life you know before all this thing so i felt like i didn't have like a base of people that are going to support me so that really like drove me to find other people that are going to um that are going to be my tribe right so when i started my lash business like i said didn't you know have anybody so like i this is why i want like i'm very very motivated to teach you guys like you don't need every single person to believe in you you don't need your parents to believe in you <laughs> you don't need your boyfriend your husband to believe in you your sisters your best friends you're gonna know who is next to you on your side when you really start doing what you need to do like when you start elevating your that's when you're gonna find out who your real friends are who your real supporters are but a lot of times we expect other people to like be our supporters or believe in us but they're not really <laughs> they're not the one to believe in you and that's fine okay so I'm just gonna speak whatever comes to my mind. Like I don't have an outline. I don't have a a note next to me that I'm reading. It's just like whatever comes to me. I feel like I have to say it. <laughs> okay. So what you need is belief in yourself. Okay. So believe in yourself, meaning you're believing in God because God is inside of ourselves. Okay. It's inside of us, and that's called. Also, you will hear that through your intuition. Like if your 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 heart and your mind is saying like you need to do this, like you know like it's like your higher self your intuition they're all the same thing it's all coming from one source energy and it's like it's just like don't ask for other people's permission or validation okay this is another um there was a girl that shared my post on facebook about my ad if the ad was like you know to start your own lash business so as you all know i'm, I'm wholesaling lashes right so she shared it on her facebook and asked on her on her friends list on facebook should i start a lash business and nobody was like saying nothing like i seen it and <laughs> she posted it for like five days and nobody said yeah you should go for it you know what i mean like everybody got quiet like and I, and then this is for me to share with y'all because i feel like sometimes we look for other people's validation when the validation that you all that we all need is just within ourselves you don't need no validation from your parents your sisters your husband like if you feel like you want to start a business because you know you want to become your own boss you don't want to work a nine-to-five job that you feel like you don't like and you don't enjoy that's fine like there are people that are meant to work for a job we need them okay because they're good at what they're doing but if it's deep in your heart you feel like you want to be an entrepreneur you want to be you want to have your own schedule you want to go to bed whenever you want you want to wake up whenever you want you want to provide service or products that are going to help other people it don't matter if you're selling lashes and hair you're making people look you want people to look pretty you want to you want people to feel beautiful right and confident and that's fine if you're selling lip gloss look at this lip gloss i'm wearing 
it's popping. Look at them lashes I'm wearing, it's popping. Look at them hair. Look at this hair, <laughs> okay? So, if you are selling hair, nails, uh, lashes, hair, whatever the hell you want to sell, that's fine. Don't feel bad and don't feel sorry, okay? Don't, you need to be unapologetic and don't feel like you don't want to sell nothing to nobody. The reason why you're not posting every day is because you, you don't believe in your products. I'm just going to be straight up honest. <laughs> okay if you don't believe in your products nobody gonna believe in you when i first started my business i was literally posting two times two to three times a day i was not missing i was religious on posting okay whenever i'm learning from other people that has done done it successfully it's not only taking notes and listening in i'm doing i'm implementing what i'm learning so <laughs> don't be just like be hyped up with like motivational shit because you need to be your own best friend. You need to be motivating your own self. Now, I'm here to share with y'all all sides of the story. Like, teach you the strategies. Okay, I post on my YouTube channel on how to post on your social media, how to market your products. But even if I teach you how to do it and you're not doing it or you feel like... <laughs> you're just feeling like... I don't know. You're not focused. You're not 100% committed. That's a problem. Okay, I'm reading y'all's comment. <laughs> Woo, speaking to y'all to my soul right now. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm here to speak to your soul. That's what we are. We all need each other. We that that's why they say like I don't I'm not a very religious person, but I understand like everything that came like what is written on the Bible and stuff like that. Like they say that we are all one, right? They it said that we are all brothers and sisters. That because we're all soul sisters. We all need each other. Okay? So don't feel bad if you're selling something to people. If you're providing quality products and services. Okay? So don't feel bad giving away money. Okay? Like, for example, if you go out to eat um, on a restaurant. Okay? Do you tip your server? How much do you give them? Do you give them $2? <laughs> because if you're cheap. If you feel like you're losing a lot of money by giving $2 away, how are you going to take in the abundance? How are you going to take in the money that is supposed to come to you? If you're not picking up the dime and the penny on the floor and you feel like, oh, that's just one cent. That's just 10 cents. That means you're being ungrateful. Don't be an ungrateful person <laughs> because you're blocking your blessings, okay? So don't block your blessings. Just be open to, like, you know, being grateful for whatever you have. I want to talk about being comfortable, if you're too comfortable with where you're at right now, you're not going to grow. If you, you feel comfortable that you're scared to take action on your dreams, that means <laughs> you're not ready for it. That means you're not, you don't really want it. It's either, it's either you want it or you don't want it. Okay? This is the biggest thing. Um, I'm going to talk about this because it's just hard for me to like, it's just hard for me to just sugarcoat things and just hold back. I feel like I have to say it. I have to say it. A lot of people want instant gratification. What does that mean? When you're trying to lose weight, do you want to just find the best pill to take to lose weight? To look a certain way, but you don't want to put in the work. You don't want to go to work out. You don't want to eat right. Same with, with, with business. It's the same fucking shit. <laughs> You know it's getting real while I'm clapping, right? <laughs> so, if you're not posting once a day on the minimum, if you're not doing reels on the minimum, you don't really want it. You're not serious. You're not 100% committed. The reason why I haven't been posting is because I've already, like with the lash business, that's not my priority anymore. Okay? It used to be my top priority. But you're not even there yet. Like, if you're building, building a brand... You got to put your 100%, 1,000% all in. Energy and focus. Focus. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling you out. <laughs> but it's for your own good. Okay? Like, that's why I don't have a lot of friends either. Because a lot of people, they think they just, they just want somebody to say yes to them and agree with what they're saying. If, if I'm your friend and you ask me if you think, if I think you look good in your dress and if I think I don't, you know, you don't look good at it. I'm just going to say, no, I don't think it's the right dress for you. Because I'm the real one. I'm not going to, like, sugarcoat and make you feel better and lie to you in front of your face. I'm just going to tell you the truth. 
But anyways, I'm here to, to like t talk about business, right? So a lot of people, <laughs> they want to like be their own boss and they think that they don't have to put in the work. What is work that I'm talking about? Promoting your business. When I say promoting your business, I'm not saying just boost your, your post or create ads. And I'm not speaking to one person in particular, but it's every person that I've come across that want to start their business and want to grow their business. They think that all they have to do is create an ads campaign and that's it. That's not how it works, okay? Think about it. If you seen, If you scroll through Instagram and you see a, a photo of lip gloss and lashes on the table a photo or something does it make you want to buy it right away no okay you need content that is going to show people the benefits and the features of why they should buy your product and why they should buy it from you if they can get it from walmart if they can get it from walgreens you need to educate your customers why they should go to you why should they buy your shit okay <laughs> okay you need to not expect people to buy on your first post okay if you create reels if you create a post on your instagram don't expect people to just buy from you right away from seeing one post from you okay <laughs> because there's a customer journey okay you need to put yourself in their shoes in your customer's shoes okay not everybody it's just gonna like you can't just post nine times and expect to blow up your brand okay it takes time and it takes effort and what kind of effort are you putting in are you putting in once that once a week type of effort or are you putting in two times a day type of effort okay don't I'm not saying to be like super perfectionist because that's also like gonna kill your productivity like don't be expecting everything to be perfect, but the more you do things every single day, the more you're gonna be like better at it, okay? The more you like take photos of your products and market it, and you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn like, oh, okay, like, you know, this thing works, this thing works, the caption worked, or whatever it is. Like, before you even think about running ads on your Instagram or whatnot, or Facebook, you have to test your content first by posting it first on your organic followers, on your feed. That's why I say, I always say, do reels, 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 Instagram reels. Like, that's how people are going to find out about you. If you're so comfortable about just posting regular posts, you're going to be left out. If you're posting just regular photos, you're going to be left out. It's all about videos now videos on the reels videos on your on your instagram or on your tiktok people get bored okay so before we start running ads and stuff like that we need to talk about content marketing okay i'm here to talk about mindset and strategy at the same time i want to teach you all of it okay so when it comes to strategy you need to learn content marketing and when i say content marketing you need to show the product with the benefit and feature and how to use your product you need to like show people what you got to offer and educate them first why they should choose your products and your services instead of going to walmart or walgreens right and then whatever blows up whatever that like blows up on instagram that's what you're going to use on your ads you need other people you can't just like do it all by yourself okay like i said we can't really like depend on your friends and family a lot of times if, especially if you're starting your business you can't depend on your friends and family because they don't give a shit and you know to be honest like i just learned that even if it's like your mom or whoever like you can't expect them to to support you and understand what you're doing but whenever you're making the money and you're doing good in your life they now they're gonna understand so don't worry about other people let's just just do what you gotta do with your business like find people to promote for you when i started my my lash brand i look for other people that i don't know i don't fucking know them i went to these restaurants and recruit girls that wear lashes hey can you i'm gonna give you this lashes for free but i want you to take pictures for my page for my website now i got all these content 
on my first few weeks of start of launching my business, I recruited over 20 ambassadors, over 20 models to model my lash brand. And how many have you recruited? I t keep telling y'all to recruit people on your brand. To recruit other people to model for your brand. Okay, if you're not doing that, then what are you doing with your time? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be honest. Like, you need to take it as a priority. Now, if you wanna become, if you wanna leave your job, if you own your job that you fucking hate, because I've been there before. I've been a server, I've been through so many jobs, I always got fired, I always like had to like walk out of the job <laughs> because I fucking hated the jobs. Okay, I hated like being in a restaurant industry or like being at the office and I don't care about what I'm doing. I want to do like what makes me like happy and excited. So if you feel like selling hair and lashes or whatever it is that your business is, is making you feel excited, then do it. Okay, don't just, another thing is like if you see other people doing it too, don't compare yourself and like say like, oh my gosh, they're doing better than me. Oh my gosh, I'm so late. Like, <laughs> comparison, it, comparison is the biggest thief of joy. What does that mean? If you're comparing yourself to other people and you don't even know how long they've been doing it, you can't compare yourself. You just, you started your business like a month ago. That's not how it works. When I looked at other people, when I first started my lash business, y'all, when I first started my lash brand, I looked at other people as inspiration. I was I was like, okay, they're doing it this way. Okay, they're posting this type of content. They're posting two times a day. Okay, I'm going to do that too. But I never, like, once compared, like, oh my gosh, they're so, like, they're 100,000 subscribers, 100,000 followers, and I only have 50 who gives a shit? They, everybody starts from zero. Everybody starts from zero. Everybody starts as a baby and grow up. Everybody starts from zero followers. Like, don't think about... Don't, like, always, like, one, like, the, like now. It's like, that. this is a problem with our society. Everybody wants the now. Everybody wants everything now. Okay? This is what they condition us to do. The society, they want... You to just take a pill and just think that you're going to lose weight. They want you to think that you can just like lay on the doctor's table and look perfect without working out or eating right. They want you to think that like starting these type of businesses is going to make you rich tomorrow. Don't nobody get rich tomorrow unless you won the lottery, okay? <laughs> Even if you win the lottery, if you don't know how to make money, you're not going to be rich forever, okay? Wealth is in the mindset. If you don't like where you're at right now, this is the secret. I want to share with you all the secret of how to get it there fast. How to how to become your own boss fast. Not through a so not through a scam, not through nothing else, but start over here. At my job before, I, I was very very grateful about this job. Okay, I was a office man. I was an office manager at this IT company. And I barely did a lot because I'm the type of person that works fast, right? But the thing is, like, I was like, this is going to be my last job. That's what I told myself. I will never work a fucking job in my life. I will never work for another company in my life. I'm going to work for my own company, and I'm going to teach other people how to do it themselves. I said that to myself, like, 100%, no doubt. I was like, I'm going to become my own boss, have my own car, have my own apartment, have my own money and do whatever the fuck I want and enjoy what I do and I'm gonna teach other people to do it too and that's what I'm doing now <laughs> okay so that's why I'm very like passionate about this topic because I seen so many young women out there hating their life hating where they're working at no passion no purpose like they don't know what they're doing with their life partying their life away no goals no dreams like that's not good. We need to teach the younger generation. If you have a kid, you need to teach them and become an example of what they should become. You need to teach them an example of, oh, I want to be like, because like kids, like they watch, even if they're not saying much, they're watching their parents and who the environment is. They The kids watch you as their parent if you have kids. They're watching you what you're doing and think it's just going to be they're gonna be just like you. 
Just think about it. But, you know, if you want to become an entrepreneur, if you want to become wealthy, why why is it the society, like, makes us feel bad about it? Like, <laughs> why? Because they don't want you there. They don't want you to elevate. They don't. They want to keep you down here. That's why they keep putting out, like, bad news uh, on the news. They want to keep you scared about a lot of things. They want you to be scared about what's going to happen in the economy. Let me talk to you about something, okay? When the COVID happened, you're like, 20... Is it 2020, 2021? <laughs> I'm so lost in time, okay? But anyways, a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people, like, you know, lost a lot of things, blah, blah, blah. But there are people, including me, that use that opportunity to shift the mindset. Instead of, like, like thinking like you're the victim, I started, I was elevating my business. I was like, hell to the fucking no, I'm not going to cry about no stimulus check <laughs> oh my gosh i was like watching all these youtubers talking about the stimulus stimulus check update every single day they had a uh, <laughs> stimulus check update now if that's you come in the <laughs> comment section i'm not laughing at y'all but i had a roommate she was stressing out about the stimulus check every fucking day and i'm like of all the days that you stressing out about twelve hundred dollars, you could have been making way over twelve hundred dollars, right? You can't be like so picky about your situation. Like if you, let's say you broke and you know you can't pay your bills, right? Now I've had the situation before, and I, I have somebody that asked me like, not really asked me, but like brought it to my attention that what they're going through, that's what they're going through. And to me, it's like you can't really start a business and you can't barely pay your bills because, like, to be honest with y'all, like, people think they can start a business with no money. The only business that you can start with no money is, like, through a service type business. So what do I mean by service? When I mean service, I mean, um, like, if you want to do hair, right, that's a service. If you want to... Um, do nails that's a service if you want to do a service for other people that's a service type business now if you're trying to start if you want to like sell products right if you want to sell lashes and stuff you can't you can't do that with no money because first of all you need to buy inventory you need to like there's a lot of things that you have to like you have to pay for your shopify you know what i'm saying so how i did it was like just to be like 100 percent disciplined and like dedicate 100% like uh committed I would say the biggest thing you have to to do is be committed 100% like there's no like ifs and when ifs or buts it's only like a win like the only a matter of time like if you feel like you want to leave your job and become your own boss you have to like say that that it's like a fact like you're 100 percent sure like no matter what people tell you or say or question you you're gonna be like yep i'm gonna be my own boss like when i was at my job like it was it's been two years okay so two years ago i was sitting at my desk two years ago i was sitting at my desk and i said to myself i'm not gonna be here forever i'm not gonna be working for other companies forever okay so you need to have that type of mindset like I already felt like it was real to me. It was so real to me that can't nobody tell me nothing. <laughs> I was like, I'm my own boss. Like I am a CEO. I am a motherfucking CEO. I'm my own boss. I'm never gonna work a day in my life for other companies. I'm gonna work for my own company. Okay. So that's how that's how I manifest fast. That's how you can ma manifest fast. Like you have to be like so sure about what you want. Okay, if you're trying to like get to a point in your life, you have you have to be so sure about it, like then nothing's gonna like stop you from believing. Like you have to like believe in yourself 100%. Because if you're not believing in yourself, you're letting yourself down. You're letting God down. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab my water. <laughs> so let me see. So. Thank you all for it being here on my live stream. Oh, I like the lighting here. So, 
Yeah, so I'm losing my voice. Because <laughs> I like to talk a lot. Okay, so next I want to talk about is, like I said, instant gratification. A lot of people think, a lot of people think they, they just like take a pill and that's it. Or like run ads and that's it. That's not how it works, honey. That's not how it works. So if you're new here, by the way, I I have so much changes going on in my life, but I'm also I'm gonna stop selling wholesale. I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop selling wholesale lashes, okay? Because because. Because I'm moving on to new directions in my life. Like I feel like my purpose, like honestly I've always known that my purpose in life is to share my journey to other people and help them get there. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like no matter how much strategies I teach, no matter how much like, like how to strategies of like marketing and all that stuff even if i share all the secrets you're not gonna you're not gonna listen and like pay attention or focus because you're so distracted in your life you're not 100 it's either you're not 100 percent 100 percent committed or you're not focused you're not this you're you're very distracted okay and you need some healing in your life <laughs> and that's just the truth okay Self-development is part of being an entrepreneur. I don't care how much you know about business. I don't care how much strategies you know about business. If you if you haven't healed your, yourself. And I have to, I have to go through that in a lot of ways. Okay, I had to cut off a lot of people. I had to let go of habits. I used to like I used to like smoke um the vapes, <laughs> okay? Because I had an ex that smoked cigarette. And when, you know, I was with him, he was, I was smoking cigarettes with him. And I was like, this is not good. Like, I felt really sick. My body was like, what the fuck are you inhaling? Okay, so I realized that every time I smoke cigarette, uh, black and mild, I used to smoke black and mild. Um, hookah is like, like that's like once in a blue moon type of stuff like if i feel like i want to hang out and socialize so that's fine but when it comes to like weed when it comes to black and mild cigarettes alcohol partying that shit i have to like let go because you know why that's not serving you that's like clogging up your your soul that's clogging up your mind you're not focused just think about it if you go out to party right you're hanging out with people that don't have goals. Does that motivate you? Does that make you want to wake up early and work on your business? No. Because the people that you hang around with, that's who you're going to be with. Who you're going to be like. So if your friends just want to smoke weed and do nothing and talk about nonsense drama, then that's what the <laughs> that's the life you're going to have. You're not going to like elevate in life. It's not going to motivate you to pursue your business that you want to do or that's why it's like you need to protect your energy i was in the hood for real i grew up in the hood <laughs> I, I don't think like y'all understand you think like when people like look at me now they think i've always been like oh she's just a bougie girl oh she's just bougie oh she's just like she's just a rich girl with rich parents uh-uh no you don't know what i grew up in like y'all don't understand the environment that I grew up in, y'all can never understand. I mean, you probably can understand, but I want you to understand. <laughs> I want you to know that that's that's a gift, okay? Like, I used to sing before when I was a kid. I was like, why am I in this situation? I've always been like the outcast, <laughs> okay? Like, you ever feel like you're like, 
people tell you like why are you so quiet like why are you shy are you quiet i'm like in my mind am i really quiet and shy or do i just not like talking to people because it's not aligning with who i am you know what i'm saying <sighs> like i had to question myself you know growing up i was like am i really like shy because i know i'm not like y'all know I'm a, I'm a fire sign so i'm very fiery okay like i like to i'm very animated and fiery full of energy but when it comes to like being around people that are not my type of people i just kind of like like sit back and like just watch people and they ask me like are you shy and i'm like i'm not shy as you can tell i'm not shy <laughs> okay i thought i was but at the end of the day like i had to realize that i have to learn that you just have to be your own authentic self you have to be you when I had a job, okay, you can't, you know, when you work at a job, you can't talk a certain way. You can't look a certain way. You know, I always got criticized about I do my makeup or how I do my hair or whatnot. Like, I'm just wearing lashes and lip gloss. Like, why you mad? Why you writing me up? <laughs> okay, I had a job where you have to, to wear these baggy clothes, okay? And one time I was like, why you get y'all gave me these extra large pants and i don't want to be wearing them and keep pulling them up because they're falling down okay because they gave me these baggy ass pants so i used to work at the airport right and that's the the uniform and so i bought um pair of pants the same exact style you cannot tell anything other than it fits me okay i'm not saying skinny jeans because you're not allowed to wear skinny pants right they wrote me up <laughs> why why is that every time i had a job all the managers especially if it's a female manager they always like write me up for no reason like and then i saw the other girl wearing like a skinny pants and i'm like well how come y'all not saying nothing to her why am i getting in trouble for looking good and doing my makeup that's why that shit motivates me to just do my own shit like i just, I just want to be me so you gotta have your own motivation of why you want to start a business okay it can't be comfortable you can't be comfortable if you're comfortable you're not gonna go anywhere if you don't want to experience pain and challenges and setbacks like you're not gonna grow as a person and as an entrepreneur you're not gonna make more money you're not gonna because you're not learning like the journey is to learn like if i if there's something that is happening in my life i just like take it in and just like think about what am i supposed to learn right sometimes <laughs> it's the people that like i like that come to my life and i believe that people come to our life for a reason to teach us a lesson now it's your free will and your own choice to let them stay in your life or to to push them away or to like um remove yourself from their presence okay if you are going through like i think i just want to get personal here because i feel like like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. It doesn't matter how many strategies I tell you to do if you're not working on yourself. And I mean like 100% heal your, yourself. And in order to like heal yourself, you need to learn who you are. Who you are really. Like do you know who you are? Because a lot of people like will assume like your boyfriend, your sister, your mom, your best friend. They're going to assume that they know you. But if, if you don't even know yourself, then they don't really know. No one really knows you. Even you or yourself probably don't know yourself. <laughs> okay, that, I know that sounds deep, but it's really true. You need to know and be honest with yourself what you want. Don't settle for what people tell you to settle. Like, oh, it's okay to like, you know, you don't have to be rich or you don't have to have a nice car. Uh, uh, uh. Like, But if your heart is desiring for more why is it so wrong for our society for us to like be wealthy why is it like when when people post like um about their life about their successful life people are hating hating so much you know why because they don't got it <laughs> okay and i'm not saying to be materialistic because you know that also like for example like think about it like if you ever want something like for example uh an expensive shoes or purse right once you attain that goal once you receive it and bought it you're like okay what what do i want next like you always want the next and the next thing so <laughs> 
it's just impo- it's just very important to like learn the the journey and the lessons that you have to go through and enjoy the lesson and the journey. A lot of people are worried about oh, I just want to become a millionaire or I just want to become my own boss, but you ain't done the job yet, bro. Like <laughs> like sis you, you haven't showed up yet. You haven't really done your part. Okay? Like, even if, even if, like, people tell you what to do, even if God tell you what to do, even if whoever tells you what to do, if you, you haven't do, done your part, you can't get mad about it. <laughs> okay? So the secret to becoming your own boss, for one, is to be 100% committed. Okay, so what does that mean? Like, you can't be like, oh, maybe next two years, maybe next year. You can't say no, maybe. You you need to say, I know. You need to say, you need to know that you know in, in your heart that you're going to be, you're going to leave your job and become your own boss. And I'm not saying to just leave your job anytime. Because that, you need to have an exit plan. You know what I'm saying? And let me talk, about, I just thought about something. So... Like I said, if you have a business, you need to be obsessed about about your your products and your business, okay? You need to post two times a day. And if you don't have time, like I understand like people have jobs, people have kids, but you need to make time. Period. If you want to lose weight, you need to make time to make your food and go to the gym and work out. If you want to become your own boss, you need to make time you need to make, make time to learn about your business and what you need to do and take action. You know why? Some people, like if you're living a life day to day, I, I've been there before. You know what I'm saying? Like, now it's getting bright. So I've been there before, right? Like you wake up and then you go to work and then it's the same shit again. <laughs> like, do you not get tired of the same shit? You wake up, you clock in. When you get home, you're tired as fuck. You spank. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then you do the same fucking shit over and over. That's what they want you to be. Is be in the trap. Be in the fucking... <sighs> I'm just gonna hold my camera because this shit. They want you... I'm gonna move over here because the lighting is good. <laughs> They want you to like, they want you to get used to being the, that's what they, the movie, The Matrix, that's what they call in The Matrix. They want you to be, that's why, can you think about like how fast it is to like, it's almost Christmas, like time is flying. Time is flying, like what are you doing with your time? What are you doing every day? Exactly, tired of living the same day every day. You need to like be tired of being tired. You need to be on that point. If you hate your job, if you don't like what you're doing, you need to have an exit plan, sis. You need to have an exit plan. You need to save up whatever you got and stop spending time with people that is not helping you grow as a person. Stop hanging around with friends that are distracting you to just go party or get drunk. You need to learn how to stay to yourself. You need to learn how to stay to yourself and be okay with being alone. Being alone doesn't mean that you're alone. If you're working on you, you should be so busy in your business that you don't have time to for no fucking drama. You should be motherfucking, <laughs> you should be motherfucking so busy to elevate your life and become your own boss that you don't got time for no fucking drama. And I'm talking about not just friends, but the guys you be talking to. Okay, if you're a young girl over here on my channel, this is for you. Okay. Like, I now I used to think like, oh, I'm just gonna... It's just a little distraction. It's just a little like, you know... Mm -mm. All they do is just take your life away and your time. Who you hanging out? Who are you hanging out with? Do they have goals? Do they have dreams? Do they motivate you? 
If the answer is no, they're wasting your time. Don't let other people waste your time. I hate when people waste my time. I hate when people waste my time. I had a, a girl, because I posted on Facebook. I said, I need somebody, I need somebody to help me uh, count my inventory. She showed up an hour late. I'm I'm pissed at this point. <laughs> and she was like, oh, because my, my, my boss called me and... Um, they needed paperwork and all that stuff. And I'm like, okay, you didn't tell him that you're already on the way to your other job. Why are you letting him waste your time? You're letting other people waste your time and now you're wasting my time? That's not going to happen. And then, you know, like, when a person shows you who they really are, you need to believe it. Okay, so... Even if it's your parents, like... Like, even if it's your parents, okay, whoever it is that's, like, not, it's, like, not making you feel motivated, if they, if you, if you feel like they're kind of, like, unmotivating you, you need to stop listening, okay? So, get rid of bad, bad habits. What are you doing with your, when you're stressed? Like, do you drink? Do you smoke? Like, I'm not saying to never have an alcoholic drink in your life. But I'm talking about, there are people out there, they don't know how to, like, deal with stress. How do you deal with your stress? <sighs> what I do, how to deal with stress is <laughs> put my phone on do not disturb and just lay down outside in the nature <laughs> and just no phones. Because like if you're on your phone like scrolling on TikTok all day, and I am guilty of that too. If you're on TikTok scrolling through mindless shit, then you're wasting life. You're wasting time. You should be the one posting on TikTok. You should be the one posting on the Instagram about your business. Okay? So to becoming your own boss, you need to to be 100% committed. And what, do, what does it mean to be committed? You need to be obsessed with your own business. If you're, not, if you're not spending a lot of time figuring out how to take the best videos and photos for your products, you're really not about it. You, need, you know what I'm saying? Like you need to, you need to be honest with yourself. <clears throat> you need to be honest with yourself. Like, how much time and energy are you putting in? How much time and energy are you putting in your business? Like, even if it's not perfect, the way you take the photos and the videos, are you trying, though? Like, are you making time to learn? Are you making time to to do something about it? Hi. So, I'm going to repost this on my YouTube. And probably on my podcast. So this has it's probably been an hour already. An hour and a half or something. I don't fucking know. Time is flying. <laughs> Time is flying. But I'm just here to talk to you guys because it's possible for you. Like you can't just think that, oh, because they're lucky or you need if you're not you feel like you're not lucky, you need to create your own luck. If you feel like you can't do something, you need to create your own way. You can't always say, I can't do that or I don't know how to do it. You need to just What's your YouTube? My YouTube is in the, my, my bio. If you go to my profile and click the link on my bio, scroll down. That's my YouTube link. It's the realest. The realest Barbie D. Okay. <laughs> um, so what I'm saying is, what was I saying? Okay, don't put yourself in the box. What does it mean to be, what does it mean when people, when they say um, think outside the box? When you, when we say think outside the box, don't limit yourself. Don't limit with your with yourself. Like saying, "I don't know how to do this. I don't have money. I don't have this." If you say you don't have money, you're blocking your blessings. Listen to me. If you say you don't have money, you're blocking your blessings. Never say you don't have money. Never say you're broke. Never say that shit. You need to eliminate that in your vocabulary. Okay. Don't ever say you're stupid. Don't ever say you you this and that. You're blocking your blessings. So what should you say instead? If you don't have money, say, how can I find money? How can I get money? How can I make money? Okay, if you don't know how to do something, say, I don't know how to do that. Instead of saying that, say, how can I learn how to do it? 
If you don't know how to stop saying like, I'm not good at marketing, I'm not good at this. Say, how can I learn to be good at, at marketing? How can I learn how to do this and that? If you're limiting yourself, you're 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 not gonna go. You're not gonna get anywhere. If you're already blocking, you're gonna block your blessings. If you feel, if you keep saying, oh, "I don't have this" or "I can't have that," then you're not gonna have it. You already gave up. So even if the opportunity is right in front of your face, even if I tell you everything that you need to do, you're not gonna get it because you already blocked your blessings. So be careful of what you say. Be car be careful of the words that you say about yourself and your circumstances, even if it's true, okay? Even if you feel like you can't even pay your bills, you can't say that. You don't speak it. The more you speak it, to ex it's going to speak into existence, okay? <laughs> Another thing I want to talk to you guys about, this is very important. Don't ever, like, start a business from... Coming from fear or like coming from desperation. Because there's nothing that's going to come out of it. If you start starting a business, make sure it's coming from excitement. Make sure it's coming from inspiration and motivation to level up. Not because you feel like you have to pay bills. <sighs> there's a thing that they want you to think is... We're not here in this earth just to work at a job and pay bills. That's not how it works. That's what they want you to know. That's what they want you to think. The society and the social media, they want you to feel and think that all you have to do is just go clock in at a job and pay bills. This is not how... The life that we're in right now, you should be living your best life. And if you feel like you shouldn't be, live your best life. You need to change that shit. Because you're blocking your blessings. Okay. Like you need to know for sure. And I'm here to tell you that you deserve. You, you deserve everything that you want. If you want a nice home. A nice family. Uh, the man of your dreams. The money that you. That you you know, that you want, you, you deserve it. And if you feel like you don't deserve it, you're not, you're not going to get it. You're not going to attract the wealth and the opportunities. You're not going to become your own boss if you feel like you don't deserve it. Now, how do you build, how do you build the self-confidence to feel like you deserve it? Now, that's a question you should be asking yourself. <sighs> This, this, this don't happen over it don't happen overnight you need to keep feeding your mind the thoughts that you need to be thinking about what are the thoughts that i'm talking about are you are you listening to drama celebrity drama and the news or are you listening to people that inspire you and motivate you and uplift your spirit are you hanging out with people that talk keep talking about their drama their friends drama and their boyfriend drama or are you cutting them off and listening to how to start a business or how to elevate in life? You need to be careful. You need to be careful with who you're listening to. If your parents keep telling you or your friends keep telling you that, Oh my gosh, too much, there's already too many people selling lashes and hair. That means they, <laughs> that means they're imposing their own insecurity onto you and that's on you if you want to listen to it okay that's your own choice if you want to listen to that negativity and even if there's so many people selling the same shit you need to think about what can i how can i make my my brand different okay how can i communicate through my posts and my marketing that they should buy from me okay if you're selling lashes, and a lot of y'all here on my channel is selling lashes and hair and whatnot. Just think about how can you make yourself different and how can you bundle up different products to make your price, like the average order value go up. You can't just make people buy one item. You need to, you need to learn how to like bundle up your products and sell it for higher price. 
and be make them your loyal customer. I haven't been running ads in one month. Okay, I, I don't, are you, you know, I haven't been because like the e-commerce is not my number one priority, but I still have people buy from me even though I'm not posting, even though I'm not running ads or posting about my products. And you know why? Because I've already done the hard work two years ago. Two years ago when I was like laying on the ground, I did the hard part. And a lot of people don't want to do the hard part. They just want like instant, instant everything. Like they do want to, they want everything instant, like instant oatmeal, drive through fast food, I Amazon Prime. Like people don't know how to wait and put in the effort and just go hard. <sighs> That's just the deep truth. You're not going to become your own boss if you're not 100%, 1000% committed you should be, you should not be able to sleep because you should be thinking about your business. The reason why I wake up every, every morning, if, even if it's Saturday or Sunday, I wake up, my mind and my body wakes up at 5 a.m. with no alarm clock. And you know why? Because I'm excited. I'm excited to work on my business. Now, there's no other job, there's no other job in the world and no other company is going to make me feel the same. Me... Clocking in for other company to work for them, I don't want to get up. I don't want to fucking get up. But if I'm working on my own business and company, I'm up before the sun comes out. I'm up. And I'm the, I'm the last person to go to bed too. You should not, like, is your dreams big enough that it, you can't sleep at night? If it's not, then it's not big enough. And you're being too comfortable. I'm just going in hard because I, I feel like somebody needs to hear what I'm saying over here. If you're not obsessed with your business or what your dreams are, if your dreams are not big enough and you're not obsessed about it, you're not dreaming big enough and you're going to be comfortable. What happens when a comfortable person always stays the same? If you're not hurting or in pain or being challenged by life, you're just staying in the comfort zone. Every challenges that you go through, every fucking mistake that you go through is an opportunity for you to learn and elevate. Whatever it is that you've been through in your life, use that as a motivation. Okay? I'm about to be personal. I'm about to get personal with y'all. I grew up with no parents. I have my mom, right? I grew up in an environment, you know... You know what it's like growing up like in poverty and you know in the hood they just be doing drugs, selling drugs and shit. My mom was never around and I, I I had to experience this as a kid. Like I was like why am I around these people that are just doing these na nasty shit? Okay? And I felt like I don't want to if I had a kid, I don't want them to experience what I've been ex like, experience. That's what motivates me to become my own boss and become an entrepreneur and make my own money. Because I don't want nobody to like tell me like, oh, I did this for you or this and that. Or like, I don't want to have a kid with somebody that don't have a goal and like don't care about. When I was a kid or when I was a little girl, I never had a dentist. Don't nobody taught me how to detangle my hair. Like, and I'm not blaming my mom because she was a working hard-working lady she always like go to work and like 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 pay for my my for me for for me to live but she was never around okay i don't even know i don't even remember what my dad looks like anymore like i don't know i, I don't know i always been the outcast like you know like <laughs> if you you're not the same person you're not the same like <laughs> have you ever grow, grown up with like cousins and you don't have the same exact dad or mom or whatnot they they may they look at you like you're the outcast but you know i had to like remind myself that it's okay to be different and i had to just accept who i am like i'm not regular i'm not basic and then that's okay I'm not, I'm okay with that. I should be okay with that. They made you they made me feel bad about 
being different. Like, I look different. I have a different dad. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, everybody jealous now. They they message me and, like, ask for my help. Or, like, oh, how you doing now? How you doing? When back in the days, you don't give a shit. <laughs> like, hmm? Okay, I don't talk to nobody in my past. So, if you come across this video and I don't talk to you no more, the reason why is because I'm a different person now. And you're still on the same drama. I don't, I don't fucks with no drama no more. <laughs> I'm not like that. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and listen to your boyfriend drama. Okay? Like, you need to protect your energy. And I keep telling y'all that you need to protect your energy. Stop listening to the news. Stop lis being scared about a lot of things. Because we're all going to die at the end of the day. <laughs> so you, you need to enjoy life and do your best. Don't live a life clocking into a job that you hate. Don't live a life being in a relationship that you are not fulfilled or happy. Don't live a life living for other people. Don't live a life living for your parents or your your other whoever in your life, right? You need to live for yourself. You need to stand your ground and know yourself. Like just be honest, what do you want? What do you want in the, in your life? And why why do you want it? Why do you like for example, do you want nice cars and nice home? But why do you want it? Is it because other people got it and you or is it because you feel like you deserve it? And I'm here to tell you that you deserve everything you want. So if you want to become your own boss, you need to be 100% committed. 100,000% committed. Number two, uh, stay focused. Okay? When I say stay focused, don't be like starting a lash business today and then tomorrow you're going to start a different business. It's like, make up your mind, sis. <laughs> okay? A lot of people think it's just like buying inventory and then that's it no you gotta put in work you gotta keep marketing your products you gotta keep posting every day you you're not gonna have a hundred thousand followers on instagram if you just posted three posts if you posted like every other week you can't you can't expect other people to buy your shit if you you haven't showed them why they should buy from you you can't just post saying shop now. You can't just post a photo of your lashes or whatever you're selling and say shop now. Why, why should they shop now? You need to put on your caption why your products are, are the best and why they should buy it. Okay, you need to tell people like the benefits and the features. Why should they choose you? Why should they buy from you? You do you have other people wearing your shit? Do you have how does your website look like? How does your Instagram feed look like? Does it look like a magazine catalog or does it look like you post it once in a blue moon? If I don't post it for a whole week, I I'm not going to complain that, you know, the engagement is low. Like, in reality, I'm not worried about the views. I'm not worried about how many people are on my live stream. Because I know the people that are meant to hear my message is going to be there. Okay? The people that can resonate with what I'm saying, it's meant to, to resonate. And the people that don't want to hear it because they can't take the realness, then it's not for them. Okay? I hear it so many times. I'm going to start my last business. I'm gonna start my lash business and it's been two years ago sis and what have you been doing and then you start a lash business and you think the first day you should have a lot of order but you haven't marketed it like make it make sense <laughs> you need to market your products before you even launch you need to market your products every day I don't care if you already failed two more two times three times you need to keep posting you need to like post every two every day, every, two times a day. <sighs> you can't expect you have to build from the ground up. Like you have to like you need to build something before expecting a lot of results. 
okay? Like I said, like I haven't been promoting my stuff for for like a week now, okay? I haven't been posting. But I still have people like buying from my store. I still have people like buying online because they have been a loyal customer. And the work, I already put that in like two years ago. Like when I was starting out, I couldn't wait. When I was at my job at the time, I couldn't wait to get home to post. I couldn't wait to get home to do, to take videos and photos of my products. I couldn't wait to get to my lunch break so I can find ambassadors to promote my shit. Now, I want to talk about this. Somebody saying, Miss Goddess, Uncensored Goddess. That's my problem. I get discouraged too easily. Thank you for reminding me about this topic. <laughs> I love you. Okay. This is how to not just get discouraged too easily. You need to reward yourself, reward yourself, not with the result, but with the action that you take. So let's say, for example, um, you want to post a reels, right? TikTok reels, whatever. And instead of like rewarding yourself from the results that you get from it or how many sales you got from, got from that post, instead of rewarding from a result, you need to reward yourself from the actions that you take. And that's something that I've learned. Bef like, that I always think, like, even if, for example, I'm launching a book, right? So I'm launching a book about the seven steps of um, generating consistent sales on your online business, right? And I've done the, um, the book cover and I've done the page, the sales page, and I've, I've done like the, the basic stuff. So I haven't sold the book, right? And I rewarded myself like, hey, good job. Because I've done like the basic foundation, right? So for you, whatever it is, the basic foundation in your business, you need to reward yourself with taking the next steps, right? If you're taking photos and videos of your products, okay, if you're learning how to take better photos and videos, you need to reward yourself you need to reward yourself with the action that you're taking. Okay? <laughs> I like you. I got my, you got my attention. I was just about to take a nap. And now I'm wide awake. <laughs> Why are you about to take a nap? <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be afternoon. It's 10.43 a.m. Why are you taking a nap? Yes. Please save this live. Yes, I'm going to save it. I know it's been a long live. But I feel like... Me personally, I listen to other successful people while I'm getting ready. <clears throat> when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm doing my hair, when I'm getting dressed. Like I always listen in the background about like other people's perspective. You know, like the things they've been through, like their words of wisdom. I like that because I'm learning. Like I'm taking in the positive stuff that I need to hear because we don't have anyone like te telling us the the truth, like the real shit. Okay, people think it's just like posting a product online and you're rich. That's not how it works. A lot of people think you just like create an ad, a boost your post, and that's it. That's not how it works, honey. That's not how it works. A lot of th a lot of people think they just gotta buy inventory and create a website and you're rich. That is not how it works. You need to put in the work, <laughs> okay? Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you have to put in work, okay? Like, think about it. If you're an overnight success, there's no story to tell. <laughs> it's boring. Like, if you don't have any problems in life, if everything's perfect, life is boring. Like, there's no, like, people clapping on for you and be like, yeah, good job. Nobody going to be inspired by your story. So whatever struggle you're going through, use that as an opportunity. Okay? Use that as an opportunity to learn and flip it. Okay? Like, y'all don't understand. Like, y'all don't understand. I used to be carless, homeless, jobless. I've been there, done that. All of this shit. And I said to myself, this is the last time. Every time, this is going to be the last time this is going to happen to me. And if you say and commit to yourself, there's the last time 
you go go through this shit, whatever you're going through, then it should be the last time. Like you need to have that commitment. Like I said, I said it again earlier. I said when I was at this job, right? I said this is gonna be my last job for other company. I'm never gonna work for other company. I really don't want to. I feel like I'm going to be depressed if I did. So whatever it is that I got to do to, you know, be my own boss and my, my own business, I'll do I'll do my my best. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm worth more than just getting paid every hour clocking in for a job. Because I, I have more to offer. I can do a lot of things. I can offer a lot of things. I want to change people's lives. I want... <laughs> I just want y'all to understand that you don't have to you don't have to do the things that you don't want to do like out of desperation or out of like because you gotta pay bills we're not here to just live a life and get paid to pay bills that's not life that's not living a life that's that's not living a life do you like where you're at right now <clears throat> I feel like I'm about to lose my voice. <laughs> Not my real voice, but you know what I mean. <sighs> you know, like I can sense people's energy. Like if I see if I see a person walking by, like I could tell if they I can tell if they're having a bad day or if they hate their life. Like, if, have you ever been through a, dri a drive through and the cashier was like, Hey, 1341, here you go. It's like, <laughs> like, be nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they hate their job. And I don't want you to be like that. Okay? If you hate your job, you hate your life, you need to do some something about it. Like, stop making excuses about your circumstances. Like, even if it's true, even if it's, like, valid truth. Like, don't get used to, like, making excuses. It's okay to vent. It's okay to... I want you to understand, like, it's okay to feel sad, anxiety, and stuff like that. Don't let don't let people tell you that you're depressed or, or whatnot. Well, don't let them, like, diagnose your shit. Because feelings are... That's what makes us human beings. Okay? If you're crying and somebody says don't cry, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> okay? Because nothing is wrong with crying. Like I like it's so interesting to me when like when I if they see somebody cry, for example, like I was crying one time on live cuz something happened, right? And then people were like don't cry, don't cry. And I'm like, I can't help it. So why are you telling me to not cry? <laughs> <sighs> changing the view okay so it's okay to feel i'm just gonna say like it's okay to feel sad or anxious or whatnot what's not okay is like staying in that mindset you know what i'm saying like if you don't know how to handle stress i suggest you learn how to meditate <sighs> Because a lot of people, because a lot of people, like, they go to, like, drinking and smoking whatever the fuck they want to smoke. It's like, that's not really solving your problem. Yeah, right. Let that cry out. Yes. You know, it's okay to cry. I want you to be, if your kid is crying, if your son is crying, even if it's a, a man, like, let a man cry. I hate I hate it when people say don't cry. It's <laughs> we're human beings, we're not robots. So it's okay to feel sad and cry. Just don't do it all day. <laughs> okay, give yourself time like an hour and then let it out. Okay? I feel like this is something that I've learned about how I deal with like stress. This is how I deal with stress. I get mad about it and I allow myself to get mad about it and then I was like, fuck it. I, I'm over it. <laughs> okay? And then I stopped talking about it. Because I don't like feeding the drama. And I don't like... I don't like feeding the, like, the negative emotions. 
I don't like feeding the energy, but I let myself be mad and cry. And then after I cry and get mad, I'm like, okay, I'm over it. Next. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't just like think that it's, a, it's not good to cry. It's okay to cry. I cry when I'm overwhelmed. I cry when I feel like I'm overwhelmed and stressed. And then after that, I learned that I feel better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. Like, if you feel like no one can understand where you're going through. If you feel like no one, you, you can't have anybody to talk to. Talk to yourself. Try that. You need to, um, you need to become your own best friend. Okay? You can't expect other people to, to become your own, like your, your best friend. You need to be your own best friend first. And that's something that I've learned. And I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't hang around with anybody or have a best friend. But I'm just saying you should first start within yourself. Like start becoming your own best friend first. Right? Before expecting other people to become your best friend. Right? So <clears throat> you need to learn like how to stay to yourself. Like... Do you feel like you got to distract yourself with watching Netflix or going out to party? Like, what does that do? I, I used to do that. Like, now I feel like I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to stay here at home. Like, I just want to, like, I just want to talk to you guys. <laughs> okay? I want to, like, work on my goals. I want to work on my business. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay to... To stay to yourself. Like you don't need. You don't need a boyfriend. To make you feel good. Like if you don't love yourself. If you don't love yourself right now. Don't expect other people to love you. If you don't believe in yourself. Don't expect other people to believe in you. If you don't want to promote your products every day. Don't expect other people to buy from you. Period. You should show you your makeup routine. <laughs> I should. I'm not really good with makeup. I do the same shit every day. Like I just put um, eyeshadow and then the eyeliner and then just the brush. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you, do you guys have any questions? Feel free to drop it in the chat. Okay. I feel like I talked a lot today and so you know God told me to talk to you guys on the live on the live stream today when I say God I mean like the, my intuition told me to to do this like I was like I rescheduled I had an appointment with my, I have a, I just got a therapist <laughs> okay and you know it's like it's different because like it's just over the phone like you're not face to face with that person but something inside of me said that instead of venting to your therapist go talk to your peoples on the live stream yes I have magnetic lashes on my website this one is called 5D417 something like that So it's okay to get therapy. So the therapy, it works because um, it, it allows you to verbalize your feelings and what's going on in your mind. And when you, whenever you talk about things out loud, it helps you uh, process your thoughts better. So I feel like if I'm doing a live stream and I'm just talking, I am listening to what I'm saying and I'm understanding more of what's going on in my mind because like if you have some a lot of things going on in your mind and then you just bo bottle it up and um think that you're just gonna be quiet about it you're not learning how to process your thoughts and that's what happens when you everything is built up in your mind and you're not processing your thoughts that's when you become overwhelmed and you get anxiety and you feel like you're the 
quote unquote depressed but the like <laughs> the real like i used to be a nursing student so i know how the brain chemicals work okay so i'm not just talking here to like think <laughs> I know when it comes to like psychology, like I used to, I wanted to be a psychologist, but that's not my life purpose. But anyways, the chemicals in your brain, you know, have a reaction, right? So what I advise to you is just be honest with yourself and, you know, you can't expect like your friends and family to be your therapist. Like you need to have other, another person to vent to i'm not gonna say like complain or do the drama you can just express your feelings and vent okay <clears throat> and and think that it's okay to feel a certain way but don't dwell on it okay i was like i was really honestly stressed the past few days <sighs> because honestly there's a lot of things I have to learn. <laughs> like I have to let go of like certain things, okay? Like for example, let me talk let me talk to you about this situation. I talked about the this on my YouTube, but the UPS really they fucked me the fuck up. <laughs> like UPS, I had this one package. It was just one situation, but it's a learn something I had to learn, okay? So the package was costing $500. Okay? And then they decide to somehow lose the package, right? And I, even though I have the insurance, it's been taking two motherfucking months for them to get back with me. You know what I mean? To like every time, like we, I, I was calling them on the phone every day, and it's it was stressing me out every single day because it seemed like it was not getting across, like. Like, I, I was just asking for the single uh, a document, right, that I have to upload for the insurance. And they have so many excuses about whatnot, right? And then, you know what? I was like, I need to let this go. Like, $500 may sound like a lot of money, but it's really not a lot of money. <laughs> like, honestly, like, there's a lot of things that I feel like, you know what? That's just $500. Like, I... I can make that money somewhere else. Like I don't got you don't like I don't gotta worry about like UPS. Come on. But anyways, that was a le lesson I had to learn. Like I need to stop stressing out over little things, right? I need to learn that there are things that I have no control over, right? We we have no control over other situation. We just have control over how we feel and how we um, process things. So. Yeah. Um what else? I'm glad I'm here to like help you guys. And I hope I shed some light with y'all. If you're trying to be your own your own boss, you need to be 100% committed because if you're not, then you're not really about it. So So I'm about to end this live because I feel like I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I've been here for uh two hours. Two hours. So I think I'm gonna uh take the audio out and post it on my on my um podcast. So I'm start I have a podcast that I'm uploading. Okay. I have a book that's coming out that's my goal really because like not everybody can afford the mentorship program, so I want to release a book and like bonuses that has like mini courses and bonuses that anybody can start their business. I want anybody. I don't want to limit anyone. Like I want pe I want everybody and anybody to have access for a low amount um, of investment to to start their business and like really like implement the action step that you need to take okay but i'm here on my live stream and you know on the podcast to like talk about self-development because self-development is very important i cannot stress that enough so the book is not even released yet <laughs> but thank you so much forever miss d
<laughs> um, thank you so much, and I hope that you have an amazing Monday. Don't ever hate Mondays. You should be excited every day, okay? Even if you're in a position in your life that you don't want to be in right now, keep telling yourself that this is not forever. Like, everything is gonna work out on your favor, in your favor, okay? You always have to think that everything is working in your favor. Cool? All right, I love you guys, and I hope you have an amazing week.